Good afternoon, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, today is Sunday, November 19th. Uh, beautiful day out here in central New Jersey, and it's about uh, 57 degrees. And I finally got all my chores on and finally finished putting the garden away for the winter. I'm going to show you a little bit of everything. These are the palm boxes. Everything is tied up. That's a trackie right there. All my palm boxes, I uh, the seams are all taped. That way it's nice and energy efficient in there. And all of them have a sensor and the Christmas lights. Um, the Musa Basu, look at the pile of trash that I gotta get rid of. Uh, I cut all of them down and uh, I put them uh, black bags around them filled with leaves and that's how they stay alive with no worries here in central New Jersey. Sable Miner, I'll just put some mulch over on it. And she's doing pretty well, and she did well this season, recovered really nicely. That's his third year on her right here. That's my Butia Capitata right there. It's a beautiful sunny day, so the boxes are open. That's uh, one advantage of uh, having boxes with uh, doors, translucent doors. 90% uh, of the time in winter, I open up almost on a daily basis, depending on the on the days when it's uh, cold and uh, cloudy. I do not open them up, and uh, they stay nice and warm in there. And the wind doesn't burn them or affect them or anything. That's my uh, Washingtonia Robusta, the small one. As I said, all of them have a sensor in it and uh, Christmas lights. These are the rest of the Musa Basus. And this other pile over here. Now, I wanted to show you a little something. This is my one of my large Tatri Carpets for Tunai, or windmill palms. Uh, that box is about eight feet tall. Next season, I'm gonna have to build an extender about two feet, cause it's right up to the eight foot level right now. Um, I do use thermal cues, but I do put them on the outside, inside a box. That way, when the temperature dips to 35, and turns on a, a lot faster. If it's inside the box, by the time it turns on, it's usually in the low 30s. And then, you know, it has to work its way up from there. Uh, my boxes, see the seams are all taped. And of course you have the sensor, because I like to monitor all my palms and the Christmas lights on them. The way I monitor the temperature and keep the temperature in check is by the number of bulbs I have on. I keep the thermal cube on the outside. When it turns on, depending on, on the size of the box is how many bulbs I turn on. This large box right here, since the temperature at nighttime is yeah, low 30s, high 20s, uh, about 15 light bulbs on. As the season progresses, I turn on most of the bulbs. By the, by the time January hits, all the bulbs are on. On the smaller boxes, like this one right here, eight bulbs at most. And those days where the temperature dips in the single digits, I might turn on 10 to 15. And it stays around 40, 45 degrees in there. Thermal cube stays on because it won't turn off on cold days. And that way the temperature, you don't get that up and down of the thermal cube turning on and off. And that's how I keep uh, my palms. Anyway, let's keep on walking. Let me show you the rest uh, of my palm boxes. That's the Robolini right there. Sensors hanging and you got the lights. This is my Sago.
These are the rest of my Musa Basu. Sometimes uh, people tell me it's overkill, but work too hard on these uh, for me to lose any of them now. And uh, I like to keep the trunk about a foot and a half tall. That way they grow nice and tall. Uh, you could always just cut them down all the way down, but then it takes longer for them to grow and get the height. Uh, that's one of my uh, Brugmansha. That's what I do. I dig them up and then put that in my sunroom. Uh, my big tracky, I haven't put the protection on it, but I, there it goes, nice side next to it. Next season, I'm gonna have to uh, add an extension because it's uh, getting a little too big for the box already. Look, that's gonna be stuffed in there this year, but it is what it is. This one will be going there tomorrow. Got plenty of time as uh, the weather here hasn't really uh, dipped uh, below uh, even freezing yet. This is my large Washingtonia Robusta. And as usual, like I said, I have the thermal cube inside this waterproof box on the outside. And all the other palms in this uh, yard is, are connected to that one thermal cube. All the ones in the front are connected to the other thermal cube. This is uh, my needle palm. I just uh, mulch the base, and that's about it. This one stays open all season long, and this one's going on its ninth year. Uh, take a look at the mess I got here of uh, bananas, Musabasi bananas, and that's the other bunch right there, the two plastic bags, and look what we had this year. Started coming out about a week before I cut it down. It's a shame. But it is what it is. Anyway. These are my two Robellinis. And this uh, beautiful little box which I just built is for the small date palm, which uh, she'll grow into it eventually. But there she is. Signs are already there, Christmas lights, everything's ready to go. Uh, it's been a fantastic season. Uh, everything was nice and green and lush this season. Hopefully next season will be the same way. Anyway, I'm gonna let you go. Uh, take care of yourselves. Uh, God bless. See you next season. Uh, sometime in December, I'm putting out uh, the year in review video with lots of photos. And uh, sometime uh, before Christmas, so take care of yourselves, and God bless.